Coming to you live from the contaminated dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning. It's Animal and Snacks, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. We are your hosts. We are. We are. And we're going to be joining you every Sunday morning with, hopefully while you're eating breakfast, we're going to give you a little side of our bets, our best bets for this NFL weekend's games. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty simple. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to give you three games, two of which are 100% guaranteed winners. Literally, they're not going to lose. You could put everything you want on them. But then we're going to give you a real big lock. And what that, what that lock is, is, like I said, the greatest pick you could possibly make, the greatest bet you could possibly place. Take all your kids' money, all their college tuition funds, your house, everything. Put them on the big locks, and you're set. Yep. I, listen, I, I'm going to agree with everything you said there. And without further ado, I think we should just get it started because... That's what the people want. This is a quick show. We, we ain't here to bullshit you. So let's get it going right away with our first pick. My first pick, a very good pick. This is the Tennessee Titans at the Cleveland Browns. I'm taking the under at 45 and a half. Why? It's simple. It's week one. Cleveland has Odell's already hurt with some type of a hip push something. And it's week one. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to get into the groove a little bit. That offense is gonna need to find its way. That Titans defense is very underrated. It's a good defense. The Browns, they're like the big team this year. I've just not seen it yet. Until I see it, I'm betting against them. Actually, I'm really not betting against them here. I'm betting the under. <laughs> You're betting against their I'm betting, offense. I'm betting, the under. I'm betting against that offense week one. Take that under. Hammer that under. I like Lock. that. I like that pick, Animal. I do. The, the Titans have an anemic offense behind a pretty banged up offensive line right now. Uh, our boy Taylor Luan will not be playing for the first four games. So I think it's going to be a little bit difficult for them to move the ball. And I hate the Browns. I hate Baker Mayfield. I hate Odell Beckham. I hope they both get hurt. Uh, I probably shouldn't say yeah, that. Yeah, it's a little harsh. It's, it's harsh. I hope they don't get hurt. I just hope they don't succeed. Is that better? That's yeah, better. Okay. So I do like that pick, but I like my pick a little bit better. And that's the first, the first pick of mine. And that is the Colts plus six and a half at the Chargers this Sunday afternoon. You're asking why I would take that when Andrew Luck just retired, aren't you? Oh, no, I get it. Yeah. I, I know, get it. I know you get it. You're a football guy. The Colts overall roster is better than the Chargers. The Chargers are without Melvin Gordon. They have a banged up offensive line right now. People yep. are forgetting about that. Yeah, Russell Okung, Forrest Lamp, like they're 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 missing starters. They're that hurting. They should have. They're hurting. Jacoby Brissett is no bum. The guy could play football. No, and they just paid him, so they're confident. Right, exactly. They made him their guy for the next year or two. They'll see what they got, and I think this is his coming out party. You know, there has been a lot of talk about the Colts and how they went from Super Bowl contender to not, but he's gonna go out there and show people why the Colts are they're in good hands. The Chargers are without. Derwin James, they have, uh, yes, they have good pass rush in Bosa and Ingram, but I'm not sold on the Chargers this year. I think there's a lot of sneaky, weird stuff going on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the points with the Colts on the road. Statement game. I, listen, Six and a half. I love it. I love it. I would have taken it if you didn't take it, but these three picks that I have here are way better, so it doesn't even matter. Hmm, we'll my see. next pick, I like this one even more than my first one. The Lions at the Cardinals. Mine is two and a half. Listen, the Cardinals are, they're, they're, they're experimenting right now. Air raid? More like air fade. Fuck that. Listen, not, not going near the Cardinals. I'm taking the Lions. They have a good defense. Matt Patricia is a defensive guy. He knows what he's doing. I'm taking the veteran quarterback in Matt Stafford. And I'm, I'm taking the better team. Do you think the Lions won't win by a field goal? That, I mean, that's crazy. They're going to win by three or more points. Not, it's not even close. Lines at the Cardinals, minus two and a half. Lock it up. Yeah, you uh, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. I don't like that Cardinal team. I uh, I don't like Cliff Kingsbury. I don't like Kyler Murray. I think they're both fucking weird. And, and I just don't see them being good this year. They also did not show us anything in the preseason. So exactly. why Other would... Other than Kyler Murray can clap. Why? Right, cool. <laughs> He's a good clapper. Why would I take a Cardinal team? Oh, granted, I don't think the Lions are that good. I don't. I don't, but they're they're three points. They're two and a half points better I, than I, the Cardinals. I get that. Winning by a field goal. I'd, I'd lock that in, too. So what I'm going to do next is something I don't like to do. I'm going to be a f***ing square. Mm. I'm going to be a f***ing square, square. Square. 
Everybody and their mothers is going to be betting the Chiefs this week. Everybody and their mothers. And you know what I'm doing? I'm taking the Chiefs. Minus was, three and a half. I was going to say, these are supposed to be locks. Minus three and a half on the road in Jacksonville. Uh, I think Jacksonville is going to have a... Their defense is going to bounce back tremendously after last year's shit show of a season. Just not week one. Just not week one. But, that being said, it's Patty Mahomes' ride again. He's so good. There was somebody on our show, I think it was you, that tweeted that Patrick Mahomes is overrated and... Uh, Definitely wasn't me, but I know who the guy. I know the guy you're talking about. You do. Yes. It wasn't you? No. Okay. Well, I know it wasn't me either, so yeah. it only leaves one guy. Anyway, he's going to show that person that he's not overrated. He did that in the playoffs after this was tweeted. He's coming off an MVP 50, 50 touchdown yard campaign. He's got Kelsey back. He's got an improved defense. I lock it in. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see in. how you could bet against I him. Got it. But Tom Coughlin's <laughs> on the Jags. Like he's runs the team. Oh, I'm a square, but you know what? I said they're all 100%. It's 100% going to hit. Doesn't mean I love it. All right, listen, I'll take it. And uh, so after we give our first two picks every week, what we're going to do is we want you, the big dog subscribers, to send us a video of yourself. Just a quick 20-second clip. Could with, be 10. Yeah, 10 seconds, whatever, of, of you telling us your best pick. We want to know what your lock of the week is. So just send us that video to bagelslocks at gmail.com. It's going to be on the screen bagelslocks at gmail.com and the best ones that we get we're going to put one in every week so and we'll keep score you know us versus the big dog subscribers see how uh yeah you know that, doing. that's a good idea and if the subscribers win at the end of the year we'll each run two miles yeah we'll make something up for now that we won't do but i'm 100 percent not running say that we will there's do. no way there's no no way i'm running two miles oh i know and i'm not even walking two miles all right let's see what our listener has to say about this week's games, let's, let's go to Cody. What's going on, big dogs? This week, I got the Seattle Seahawks, nine and a half point favorites at home against the Cincinnati Bengals, who are without their rookie guard slash tackle, Jonah Williams, Cordy Glenn's out with a concussion, and they're starting a guy named Andre Smith. Seahawks completely stole Jadavion Clowney from the Texans, probably have two to three sacks, so we're just going to merely rock that in the bank. All right, wow. Hard, hard to disagree with the pick. Listen, I don't hard to disagree. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So, I don't hate it either. Cody, best of luck to you. We'll see what that we'll see what that Seahawks uh I love you, Cody. See what that Seahawks pick does. And without further ado, Snacks, could you uh maybe give me a hand with this, yeah, please? Man. Yeah, uh, of course. Let heavy. me just let me get situated because I know it is pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. Oh, they're not gonna stay rolled up. Yeah, right here. Just oh my god, dude. Oh. Wow. Oh, all right, all right. Down. Oh, good. Whew. All right. Don't want to break this table. Wow. How yeah. is this table withholding this? I have no idea. But as you can see, it is time for the big locks. And I'm going to start off with my big lock of the morning. And it is the Texans at Saints minus seven. It's simple. Clowney's gone. The Saints are not a good team. They had one of the weakest schedules last year, and they the, weren't. They scraped by. The Texans aren't a good team. What did I say? The Titans? You said the Saints. So the team you were betting, you sh They weren't a good team. That's not true. The Texans are the bad team. <laughs> well, let's get that right. The Texans are the bad team. The Saints are very good. The Saints actually had a very, very traumatic loss at the end of last season, and they've been waiting for this opportunity for seven months, maybe six. I don't know. I don't do the math. But they are ready. They're going to win by two touchdowns. They're going to win by 14 points. They might win by 20. They might win by 30. They might maybe 40. I know what I have to do here. That's your big lock of the week? A big lock. It's, it's Saints it's, minus seven. Over Saints to, minus seven. Over to Houston Texans. Over the Houston Texans. Whatever I said earlier with the teams being bad. Just ignore that. No, no, no. 100% got you. But you know what I'm going to do? I, I had a big lock. I had a big lock written down, and you know I did. But you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? Throwing it out the window. Oh, sh**. My big lock of the week, the Houston Texans plus seven against the oh, New Orleans Saints whoa, in whoa, the Superdome. Whoa. Why oh, you got to do that, man? You know, one of us is going to be wrong now. We can't go 3-0 and each. But you know what? I'm taking a f***ing curve here. Everything you said is bullshit. Okay? The Texans just got Punzel. They're going to protect Deshaun Watson. Who, who loves Deshaun Watson? Not me. I love to show him Watson. You're supposed to say you do. Don't point at me. I don't like him. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fade the 
animal. I'm gonna fade his ass and I'm gonna take the Turks. We're, we're not plus supposed seven. to do that on this show. We're supposed to be a team. But you know what? Week one brings out the worst in me. Apparently. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's ride it. Wow. All right. Well, there you have it, big folks. Those are all our locks. Big folks. Those are all our locks of the weekend. Listen, one of us is going two and one. Yeah, I'm we really... physically can't go three and up. Oh, you no, know we could do. We could go two zero and one. Push. Saints win by seven. I don't want that. I don't want that locks. either. They're, they're gonna be locks. That's it. Folks.